When treating your room acoustics, you want to make sure you're doing everything right to meet your space's requirements for audio. Whether you're looking to DIY or purchase from a brand, choosing which absorption material goes into your panels is crucial. So what's the best insulation material to use? I think it's fair to say that they are all great materials, even though their performances may differ slightly. But there's truly not one best insulation material, as each has its pros and cons to look out for. It's a matter of choosing what's suitable based on personal preference. When choosing the right absorption material for your project, there are several factors to consider. The first thing to look out for is the noise reduction coefficient, or NRC, including the absorption rate at each frequency range. The NRC simply means how well a material performs overall on average, while the absorption rates tell you how the material performs at affected frequency ranges. 0.7 means good absorption, 0.8 means better absorption, and 0.9 and above means excellent absorption. Another factor to consider is thickness and density. Insulation materials come in various thicknesses and densities, which are relative to determining the absorption rates. A difference in the thickness or density of a material will result in a difference in absorption rates at the affected frequencies. We'll be looking at two scenarios here. The first one is same density, different thickness. Let's take rockwool insulation for example. Suppose you have rockwool with a density of 45 kilograms per meter cubed. The absorption rates will differ at certain frequencies as the thickness varies. This rockwool material at 2 inches will have lesser absorption rates at low-end frequencies compared to the same rockwool at 4 inches. The other scenario is same thickness, different density. A 2-inch material with a density of 45 kilograms per meter cubed will perform differently than when it's at 96 kilograms per meter cubed. The difference in density will cause a variation in absorption rate at certain frequencies, especially at high frequencies. The higher the density of a material, the more likely the material becomes rigid. The more rigid the material is on the surface, the more it's able to reflect higher frequencies, leading to declined absorption rates at the top ends. Now, the frequently asked question is what's the best thickness and density to use? This depends on your goal. If you're looking to mainly absorb mid-range and high frequencies, use a 2-inch material with a density anywhere between 40 to 80 kilograms per meter cubed. If you're absorbing across all three bands, use a 4-inch material with a density anywhere from 40 to 80 kilograms per meter cubed. You can also use two bats of the 2-inch to make a 4-inch thickness. You'll get the same performance as the 4-inch bat. If you want to absorb the mid-range while reflecting some of the high frequencies, Use the 2-inch material with a density between 96 to 128 kilograms per meter cubed. The third factor to consider is safety. We'll quickly look at the pros and cons of these materials, and we will be covering the safety aspect. Let's talk about fiberglass. Fiberglass is composed of glass materials broken down into the tiniest fibers. It comes in various thicknesses and densities. It is economical and easily obtained at retail stores. This material can be found at home improvement stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menards. The only con about this product is, it can be hazardous. We all know how harmful glass can be. You can imagine breathing tiny glass particles into your lungs or getting a glass splinter. That doesn't sound too good, as our bodies are incapable of breaking down and flushing out glass. Definitely not natural for our bodies. If you're doing DIY with fiberglass, ensure you use proper PPE. Wear a nose mask and a pair of gloves. Rockwool is composed of stone fibers mixed with a few slag particles here and there. It comes in various thicknesses and densities. It is economical and easily obtained in the market. You can also find Rockwool at Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menards. The only con about this material is that it's not super safe. Though, compared to fiberglass, it can be easily managed to achieve maximum safety. The rocks are not the harmful part of the rock wool, since rocks are natural to the body. But the little bit of slag makes it slightly unsafe. Slag contains high levels of lead and arsenic, both of which can be harmful to human health. But our bodies are actually capable of detoxing the arsenic and lead through excretion, although it may take our bodies some work and time to break them down until they are completely flushed out. Regardless, you still don't want to breathe them in. So ensure you use a nose mask and wear some gloves, especially if your skin is allergic. 
Once you follow the simple safety rules, you have nothing to worry about. Additionally, once your panels are wrapped in fabric, your environment will be free from harm. If you still have doubts and want to take extra precautions, you could add a plastic wrap between your fabric and your rock wool. Please feel free to also do this with fiberglass. The only disadvantage of plastic wrap is that it reflects some of the higher frequencies from your audio. Recycled cotton is made from denim, that is, gene material. It is 100% safe and eco-friendly. The only con about this material is that it is very expensive and not easily obtained. It also only comes in a 2-inch thickness and only one density. For the materials that only come in 2-inch thicknesses, you can always use two bats of them if you need them in a 4-inch thickness. Melamine foam is made of formaldehyde polymer, which is actually toxic to the human body. However, the way melamine foams are molded makes them safer for your home environment, though it's not the most friendly material ever. Melamine foam is very expensive and not easily obtained. We hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, do us a favor by giving it a thumbs up. You may also subscribe and share. If you have any thoughts or questions, you may leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.